so before I really begin this show, I want to give a bit of a content warning. This show is not for kids. So if they're in the background, please put headphones on or, or what have you. Just, you know, it's not. All right, moving on. So in case you hadn't lost all of your hope in, and, and trust in the entertainment industry, I have news for you. So Lifetime has decided that it's going to add its first sex scene in a Christmas movie because apparently adults are hungry for grown-up romance, or so it's being said. What's, what's interesting is, of course, that for those who don't know, Lifetime is supposedly more sort of family-friendly. It's like Hallmark, uh, whereas, you know, most of Hollywood is just kind of full of smut at this point. But this was a kind of place that a lot of Christians watched, um, and just a lot of families, frankly, just tuned in and didn't want to have to worry about what was going to be shown on screen. But with that said, I think that some sort of early warning signs were missed amongst many. So I think it was in 2021, yeah, uh, where the first lesbian movie was released on Lifetime. And really, that's a pretty huge step in terms of like how degenerate are we going to allow things to become, um, just to be kind of candid about this. When that hit, and even though there wasn't there wasn't any sort of um, sex scene in that, it was just lesbian lover thing, um, it still, I think, is an indication of the fact that they have no scruples, and that they don't have an objective understanding of morality. So the fact that we're in a in a worse state now would be like a natural conclusion. I think that too many people just tend to think now as homosexuality being a just a valid orientation amongst many, um, as opposed to the traditional view that actually it's disordered and there's only one um, healthy orientation. So anyway, I want to show you uh, an article that I stumbled across about the new sex scene in the Christmas movie, because I think there's some of the quotes in here I think we should go over. All right, so... Okay, here we are. So we've got someone being interviewed uh, here, of the, the SVP of scripted content at Lifetime, who says, we think there's an audience out there that's hungry for grown-up romance. Now, I, I take issue with the idea that grown-up romance is pornography. Because that's what they're saying. Did we really go through most of Western civilization without grown-up romance? Were they all children? Or maybe, or maybe, um, they just had standards. Because it's not really that they think that there's a an audience for grown-up romance. It's that they think there's an audience for pornography. And of course, yeah, vice always sells. But I do think that it's going to be contrary to their image because again, they have built a brand on being family friendly and it's not. But we'll go on down. Oh, they got the interview with Sarah Drew, who wrote the movie. She says, spoiler alert, he lays me down on some hay and then we, you know. Obviously, it's still lifetime, it's still family but it was pushing limits there too. They didn't cut anything. I was so happy that they really left it all in there. Now, here's my thing. It's still family? Really? Who's family? Like, who sits down to watch that with the kids? Um, I mean, maybe... Maybe in Hollywood they do. Um, Oh, I mean, actually, they probably do, because if you look at some of these um, movies that come out of more mainstream Hollywood, you see, like, child actors being used in some of these movies that are just, well, pornographic and egregious. Uh, so they probably do. But for most of the families throughout the United States, I would guess that that wasn't something that you'd want to sit down and watch with the kids. But it is in their world. Uh, so I thought that I'd go ahead and give you a heads up that, you know, when it comes to these networks, they're just not safe anymore. So at least do check out what you're watching, and I think it tends to be safer, actually, just to go back in time to when things just were more wholesome and, dare I say, more moral. Because what's coming out now is, I mean, 
I, I can't see why you'd want to watch that, but um, that's what's being sort of that's inundating us. And I think that we live in a very much an over-sexualized society now, and that's brought on actually largely by the, the LGBT groups because they are highly sexualized. If you watch any so-called pride parade, right, what, what, are you, what are you seeing? They're not just there in, in pink outfits, right? They're, they're in almost nothing. Um, so, and they, you know, it's, it's like aggressively sexualized. So that's affecting our society as as it really just takes a turn towards the embrace of these things and an, an attempt at normalizing it right because what they're not saying is well here's our new adult line you know a new pornographic line um at lifetime they're saying look this is family friendly too so what they're trying to do is actually broaden what is considered family friendly as opposed to saying hey this actually isn't but we're broadening our line to include this other stuff no they don't want that because what they're doing is they're trying to change your sense of fundamental morality uh, instead because that's the way that they think and they think that that's the way that you should think as opposed to being you know a bigot in flyover country as they might say so consider it your warning if you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like it. Also, I have other videos that you might enjoy. I have links in the description down below as to how you can support this work. So thank you so much.